nestled between the painted desert and Ponderosa Highlands of northern Arizona, is Wilpatki National Monument, where ancient pueblos dot red rock outcroppings across miles of prairie. These many settlement sites were built by the ancient Pueblo people, more specifically the Cojunina, Cayenta, Anasazi, and Sinagua people, and were first inhabited around 500 AD. Lomakai Pueblo is built right on the edge of a shallow vertical walled canyon, which was probably formed by faulting or other volcanic activity and has a good view of the snow-capped San Francisco peaks to the west. Several smaller ruins may be visited along the same trail, further along the rim of the Box Canyon. The Citadel Pueblo is built on top of a small hill overlooking the surrounding plains, which include a limestone sinkhole just to the south. Citadel ruin has not been reconstructed, so there isn't much to see, just a large pile of fallen stones enclosed by a low wall. From the hilltop, several other ruins can be seen at the edges of some of the adjacent mesas. So, being the curious person that I am, I took a forest road out of the monument out to see where it led, and it led to a quarry. So this is a cinder cone, and they are mining it. Hey there! It's me. What do you think of my hat? Oh, it's so warm. Um, so behind me there you see this little two track and I'm kind of in an unusual spot um, because I haven't been able to find anywhere any pullovers to camp in for the night. So I have found a mud hole that is completely dried up. I'm not driving on any plants. I'm not uh, driving across the grass and leaving um, tracks across this beautiful area here. I'm actually um, in National Forest, um, just outside the Wupatki, I'm not sure how you say it, and Sunset Craters National Monument. Um, over there on the horizon you can see the San Francisco Peaks. And I don't want to rush because uh, there's so much fascinating geology around here. I think I want to spend the day tomorrow exploring um, around Sunset Crater area. So um, I'm going to camp here for the night. I've only seen one other vehicle since I came off the, uh, the paved loop and so chances that anybody's going to come along here tonight. There's not too many tire tracks on it uh, and looking this way there haven't been any fresh ones. Ooh, that sun's bright. There's not been any fresh tracks coming along here for a while. So I don't think I'm going to get disturbed. Um, and I am in National Forest. I'm legal. I am not damaging anything. So I'm staying here the night. Hey, hey. I'm somewhere between Wapatki National Monument and Sunset Crater National Monument. And I'm looking east. That has to be one of the worst cases of pollution smog that I have ever seen.
The largest settlement on monument territory is the Wupatki ruin, built around a natural rock outcrop. With more than 100 rooms, this ruin is believed to be the region's tallest and largest structure for its time period. People gathered here during the 1100s, about 100 years after the eruption of Sunset Crater Volcano, gradually building this 100-room Pueblo with a community room and ball court. By 1182, perhaps 85 to 100 people lived at Wupatki Pueblo, the largest building for at least 50 miles. Within a day's walk, a population of several thousand surrounded Wapatki. The Hopi believe the people who lived and died at Wapatki remain as spiritual guardians. Stories of Wapatki are passed on among Hopi, Navajo, Zuni, and other Native American tribes in the region. Members of the Hopi Bear, Katsina, Lizard, Rattlesnake, Sand, Snow, and water clans return periodically to enrich their personal understanding of their clan history. Wukoki Ruins is built on an isolated block of sandstone, visible for several miles. The structure is quite tall, centered on a square, three-story tower with a series of intricately constructed rooms at one side. The bricks have a deep red color and the building merges seamlessly with the underlying Moankopi rock. This one's pretty sweet because they had their own slick rock deck. Tonight I am up in the National Forest again and uh, it's going to be cold but I'm getting used to these 10, 14, 18 degree nights. It's not so bad as long as it warms up again in the daytime. Um, I, it's beautiful up here and I have a view of the San Francisco peaks.
So there are tons of other ruins here. Can't really get to them though. So this is a fun little trail. It's a little bit steep. Um, just down there. all the soot from the fires. <laughs> 